Hello everybody, this is Dreamgamer really back for another episode of Dinosaur King. And we're going to do something a bit different this time because I'm sure as you know recently I managed to uncover and figure out all the attack stats for all the dinosaurs. So, in celebration of that we're going to use the 10, we're going to use 10 dinosaurs with the most powerful crits in the game and see how effective those crits really are. So first off we're going to start with fire dinosaurs and and obviously we're going to use the T-Rex because it has a insane powerful crit damage of 1020. Well, when you use the attack type version. And we're going to see how powerful it really is. So give me a sec while I enter all the codes and shenanigans. Alrighty then, for this demonstration, for the first one, we obviously have Tyrannosaurus. This is the attack type T-Rex and I've ma pretty much maxed it up. I mean, not that it matters, but yeah, look at our burning dash. Insanely powerful, maxed up, over 3,000 total attack, because it has Magma Blaster oh, and uh, Firebomb, which we won't see anyway. And yeah, we'll skip this bit, because burning dash needs to be triggered first, because it only gets triggered during the time. But we're also going to see how much damage its crit can do on its own. So this is against an Oranosaurus, and yeah, look at that. Beast. Uh, we'll get the tie so we trigger the burning dash. So burning dash is ready and triggered. Let's see how much damage it does against a Carnotaurus. A Carnotaurus has the most health out of all the wind dinosaurs. Well, it's tied with Megaraptor and Atrox, but I want to use Carnot. Has more wind moves, so it'll be at a tight disadvantage as well. So, this can a T-Rex attack type with the burning dash one shot a Carnotaurus? Ready? Let's find out. I expect this is going to do a crap ton of damage. I think it'll leave the Carnotaurus health in the red. But that's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, definitely. Whoa, oh, that is insane amount of damage. That is the power of the T-Rex's crit. But you know what, I want to do another test actually. So we'll stop here and I'm going to do another test with the T-Rex. Alright, here we go. For this next test, we're going to see how many wind dinosaurs can this T-Rex with Burning Dash one-shot. And we're going to drop down from from like strength to strength. So we started with 2,000. We're going to dro we drop down to 1,800 now with... Um, Uteraptor. And, well, there is a variable here because the Uteraptor I'm using is defense type, so. That may be a variable. <coughs> but, it's time to find out. And yes, this maxed all its moves. Huh. That's interesting. Seemed to have got more of a buff from Hurricane Beat than it did from Mayflower. But anyway, enough about that. Maybe that's for another test. Let's see how much damage a Burning Dash can do on a defense type Uteraptor. And we saw what it did to the Carno, but... Oh, wow, pretty much the same. I mean, that makes sense, because this Uteraptor is defense type, so I'd say that is... Yeah, interesting. Okay, let's move on to 1600 Dinos. Yeah? Alrighty then, here's our <coughs> basic, basically our victim. It's the Rugops. And we gave it the wind move so the T-Rex will get the type advantage bonus. We got the burning dash triggered. Let's find out if Rugops gets one shot. And yeah. Ooh, close but no cigar. Hmm. Looking at that health, I don't think it'll one shot 1400 Dino either. So I'm going to drop down to 1200. Alrighty then, here we go for our little test. We're using you strip the Spondylus. And again, we have the Bite the Wind to make sure that the T Rex has the type advantage. We got the Burning Dash triggered. Can you strip the Spondylus survive? This you strip the Spondylus is Crisis type, by the way, just so you know. But can it survive? Oh, almost, almost, 
king. <laughs> it's the kill. But what that does tell me is that if I use something like a dino, it will probably die in one hit. So a T-Rex's crit is powerful enough to one-shot any wind dinosaur with 1,000 strength. Also, what I will say is, because Burning Dash gets triggered after a tie, if you use tie attack, I'd probably say the T-Rex would one-shot pretty much any wind dinosaur. But we're going to test... Actually, we'll test that real quick. We'll test that real quick. Alright, here we go. And obviously for this test, we added tie attack to the mix. And we are using Carnotaurus as our victim again. Can a tie attack burning dash combo one shot at wind dinosaur? Let's find it. The burning dash gets triggered there, and the burning dash be after it. Oh, it doesn't. But it leaves it agonizingly close to death, so I would say a Uteraptor would probably die. Uh, we're not going to pass that now. I think we I think we don't need to now, and we're going to move on to another dinosaur. The dinosaur that is, has the highest damage out of all the water dinosaurs. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Amargosaurus. Alright, here we go for our test. And yes, as I said, we are using the Amargosaurus attack type with an impressive crit damage of 990. And we have the Tabba Cannon, uh, almost maxed. Huh, that's interesting. Because Saltosaurus has a weaker crit than a Margosaurus, yet the Hydro Cutter is maxed. Wow, that's really strange. Huh. No, that, that just seems really weird. But the Amargosaurus's crit won't be maxed if he uses Futaba Cannon, but if you use Hydro Cutter, it's maxed on Saltosaurus. That's a very interesting proposition, but yeah, we'll just see how much a base crit can do to an Aranosaurus. Yeah, look at that. On par with the T-Rex. Okay, the Futaba Cannon has been triggered, so we shall get rid of this Aranosaurus and use it. Badoosh. Okay, for the victim, I've gone with Albutosaurus, and it has Boot Blazing Spin Attack. I've gone right down to 12, because I'm not going to waste time with using a gold, because it's not going to one-shot a gold. But it might be able to one-shot a 1200 fire diamond. Right. Left. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Here comes Futaba Cat. Now, I'm saying that this will not one-shot Albertosaurus. And honestly, I don't think it would one-shot Aliorhinus or Gorgosaurus either. Oh, it's close. Real close. It's basically a two-shotter, because Futaba Cat gets triggered after a win, which is quite awkward, to be honest. But yeah, not bad, not bad. So I suspect that it can probably one-shot Aliorhamus and Gorgosaurus. So yeah, that's a Margosaurus. Not much to test here. Nice, no, it. If you partner up with Aqua Javelin, then maybe you could one-shot things up to a bronze, maybe. Of course, the problem then is you want you need to get Aqua Javelin triggered and activated, and <laughs> I can't be bothered for that. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the lightning dinosaurs. The lightning dinosaur with the most powerful crit that is Taurosaurus. Now, Taurosaurus might be an awkward one because it can only use lightning strike, but we're gonna see what it can do. All right, then we have our Taurosaurus here, the attack type version, of course. But yes, unfortunately, it can only use lightning strikes. Which does suck, but it does hurt it a lot. Oh yeah, I also decided to see, I wanted to see if Hydro Cutter gives a different boost to uh, Futaba Cannon. Let's have a look. Yeah, that feels like a lot more. 
I'm gonna ha I, maybe I, I maybe I can test that for another video if the if the moves like those give different boosts. Maybe that's something I can test for another video. But anyway, back to this video. Testing the Taurus or a decent amount of damage there. But we want to move on to the second item, which is which will be the victim, and the victim today is Irritator. And I also gave it Tragic Sphere so that Taurus Lord would have the type advantage when it uses Lightning Strike. So I get that bonus. Boom in the front bonus! Okay, I don't think this will one shot irritate me. I really don't. But let's have a look. Oh, it almost took it out. But yeah, not surprised really, but it's almost a one shot. So it's still impressive from the Taurosaurus, but unfortunately, if, it could, if this crit was paper or scissors, then I'd say, yeah, 100%, that would one-shot irritate. Uh, probably one-shot anything up to 1,400 for water dinos, but sadly, the Taurosaurus' crit is rock. But yeah, let's get on with our next test subject. And we're moving on to Earth, and you know what that means? It's Tajonosaurus' turn. Alright, here we, here we go. The king of the crits itself, Tajonosaurus. The dinosaur that has the highest crit damage out of every other dinosaur in this franchise. And a whopping total of 1,050. Only when you use the lethal type, of course. But still mightily impressive. Okay, we have an irritator here, but we don't care about that. Tajonosaurus, a fascinating dinosaur and a big threat. No matter how many times, no matter how weak it may seem to be, still a major threat. <laughs> Although, the downside is that Rock Ruler only gets triggered after a win, so... That is a bit unfortunate. But yeah, here's our victim, the Chasmosaurus, because I genuinely believe that this Tujongosaurus can one-shot this Chasmosaurus. I have faith in it. And if it doesn't, then, well, I suspect they will one-shot anything with 1200 strength or below. Oh yeah, definitely. Anything with 1200 strength or below, if you're a lightning dinosaur, don't face Tajongosaurus because it will kill you in one hit. And it, it will pretty much two-shot anything with Rock Roller and Lethal Type. So yeah, that is the power of Tajongosaurus. Uh, okay, on to our next dinosaur now, which is Grass. And an interesting one for Grass because, you know, the next test subject will be the Iguanodon, which is a big surprise. Alright, then we have our Iguanodon here. Iguanodon is an odd one because, you know, while it... On paper, it does have the highest crit damage out of all the grass dinosaurs. I feel like things like Shant and Lanzasaurus have better crits, even though the, the actual damage is lower, because if you use Super Impact on them both, I think I feel like the crit damage would be higher than that of a Guanodon. But nope, we're using a Guanodon, and sadly for a Guanodon, it, cannot be, it can only use Big Foot Assault, which definitely hurts it. So it has, has like the same issue that Taurosaurus has. Maybe I should really take that into account. You know, what kind of moves each dino can use. Because I feel like the Shant and the Lancosaurus are better crits. Well, probably the Shant, if you use the Attack Type 1 and Super Impact. I feel like that's better than using a Gromadon with Big Foot Assault. Oh, look at that though. Impressive damage. That's a that is a Defense Type Woohoo Saurus, by the way, so... I feel like the next thousand strength dino that comes in is gonna get one shot. And that dino being the Talorus. But yeah, Talorus sends zip as a chance against this thing. Um, I'm not gonna do secret dinosaurs, because secret dinosaurs there's not one secret dinosaur that has really high attack. I 
think the Apatosaurus has the highest crit damage actually, if you use the lethal type. But that's... Uh, oh, it's not even in the top 10. <laughs> it's not worth doing. Hell, technically Iguanodon's not even in the top 10. It's like tied with things like Sulpasaurus and Giga. And wow! Still for a one-shot. It's a bit of a surprise, actually. And you also got to see the difference in, in um, defense type and non-defense type there. Ooh, and that is bogus! Okay, that's Iguanodon pretty much done. Now for the wind dinosaurs. And you know what that means? It's Megaraptor time! Oh, right, right. Yes, as I said, we have the Megaraptor. The lethal type one, the one which does the highest crit out of all the wind dinosaurs, at a very impressive total of 1,000. Although, that's still not enough to max out the Mayfly, whereas Sulpasaurus, with a crit damage that's less than Megaraptor, can max out Hydro Cutter. Seems weird, doesn't it? So yeah, we don't care about Irritator because it's basically just in the way. And it's only there as a means to trigger Mayfly. And yeah, actually a fun fact about crit damage, I always thought that Allosaurus Atrox had the highest crit damage out of all the dinosaurs at 950, but actually that honor actually goes to Sauropaganax, who has a crit damage of 960. Of course, should we really count that? Because the Sauropaganax is super attack type, so it obviously gets a buff from the uh, from that. And I believe the buff is 150. Yes, we're using the cartoon Sintaeosaurus as the victim. So yeah, in theory, Sauropaganax's crit is only really 810 as a base. But because it doesn't have any other battle types other than super attack type, I think it's I think I could count it as its base crit of 960. So yeah, the title goes to Sauropaganax. But Allosaurus Atrox 950, very very good. Oh uh, yes, we gave this guy an um, egg attack, so we get the type advantage when we use Mayfly. I'm pretty confident that this Mega Raptor will one-shot this uh, monstrosity. Oh, maybe not, but yeah. Any dino with one fat any grass dinosaur that has 1,000 strength, stay away from Mega Raptor. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, because as I said, I'm not going to do secret dinosaurs, because their crits don't even come close to these guys. So yeah, that's going to end this little testing session, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and what else What else should I test out next? Leave a comment down below, and until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.